I'm logged into Webspiration Classroom. I'm going to give you a little demo of how to use this to create a, a mind map or concept map. Whenever you begin, you're going to be open to this screen right here. You can create a document that's a diagram that's like a mind map or an outline. The starter docs are ones that are examples that you can look at to get ideas. And then where it says open, that's where you would go to get any that you've previously saved. I'm going to go to diagram and it opens Webspiration. The main idea node right here is what it says. This is the main, main idea, main topic. So I am going to just double click on that, highlight it and I'm going to type in web 2.0 tools now you notice that my cursor is blinking behind the S in tools one really fast way that I can add my ideas to this is by coming over here and clicking where it says rapid fire when rapid fire is there all I have to do is type a word Hit, hit return or enter, then type another word, again hit return or enter, and it will just throw all of those minor nodes out there. So some Web 2.0 tools, ideas would be wikis, blogs, collaborative documents, social networks, so you see here it's throwing them all out there really really quickly and it's just um, going about as quickly as I can keep up with it. Also, these really aren't organized in any way, shape, or form. That's okay for now, but here in a little bit I'm going to want those to be organized. So let's say, I'm going to start here with social networks. I click on it and I want my cursor to be after the word networks if I'm going to use the rapid fire tool. I'm probably just going to create a new node on this one so what I'll do is come up here where it says create and if I want it to go over here to the side I'll click on this one if I wanted it to go in the middle I would have clicked on that one so the reasons you should use a social network it allows for peer tutoring I could also say that it is collaborative. Okay. Maybe some great social networks would be the thing that I would put down here next. I'm going to use the rapid fire tool again on this one. So, some social networks in my classroom are Twiducate, Twitter, Facebook. Fake book is a good one. And I'll probably just keep it at that for right now. So, right now, it looks like I've just got this big mess of different ideas. They're all just going out there. If I am um, someone who can work with this, I could go ahead and just continue on the brainstorming with the rest of these, like for the blogs, for example reasons to use blogs in your classroom. They allow for peer tutoring. They are reflective. And then I could go ahead and add all of my different blogs that I could think of like Class Blogmeister, Blogger, and so on. Again, this is kind of making a big mess with all of the different nodes coming out there, and it's hard for me to know where I am. So I'm going to go over here where it says Arrange, and I could use the straight links. Let's look and see what that looks like. Okay. All right, that's really, really hard to see. So how about I go over here to arrange using right angle links? Okay, that's a little bit better. I can probably grab all of these here and move them over. So that way they're not so far away. Now notice there's one hanging out here, I can tell because that line's going. 
I'm going to move these over and find it and bring it back. Okay. So now I've got these arranged in a way that shows a tier. I still can't see everything. I think a big problem is the fact that I've got the fact um, the blogs allowing for peer tutoring and the reflective. Those are reasons why you should use them right here with some examples. So how about I do this? I'm going to click on blogs. I'm going to move this new node over here and I'm going to type in examples. Okay, now I'm going to click on the arrow for class blogmeister and I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to do the same thing for blogger. Okay, and I'm also going to add another node that says reasons to use. I'm just going to again click on these arrows and then drag them over. Now I'm going to try the arrange tool again and see if it helps clean up that area a little bit. Click OK. And it really did clean up that area quite a bit. I still have a lot over here because this is taking up some. But you can see by doing that how I can use the most of my space here. Now, a big thing that we need to keep in mind with different learning styles is that of visual learning. So I'm seeing all of these different bubbles and nodes and that's a great way to organize things in this flowchart. But for a visual learner, having a picture there instead of just one of these circles is going to make a big deal. So I'm going to click right here on the Web 2.0 main idea. It's got the boxes around it. And over here where it says symbols, I'm going to find a symbol that really does mean what I'm talking about. Web 2.0 tools are tools that we use on the internet for people to connect around the world. So I think it would be appropriate to have this picture of the earth as my icon. I'm going to pull that up right there. I'm going to do the same thing for the blogs. Blogs are just an online journal. I clicked right here on the next arrow and here is a notebook with a pen and that to me is kind of like what we do with the journal so I am going to just put that up there and if this is too big I'm just gonna shrink it that'll help me stay organized collaborative documents that means lots and lots of people can collaborate on this tool together so where it has my heading central ideas I'm, I'm going to click on that arrow when I think collaboration I think people so I'm going to go down here to people and my first group says career so I'll just go with that this isn't what I'm looking for all of these pictures aren't so I'm going to click the arrow over again not really what I'm looking for now here's one though all of these people are working together to make one thing and to me that is what collaboration is so I would just continue going about changing my minor nodes so that they have the icon there for my visual learners and then another thing I'm going to do these nodes here where it says examples and reasons to use these are both they're not major nodes, they're not minor nodes. These are basically um, getting to my supporting details. So I'm going to change the color of these. If I click on one here, and then down here in the bottom, I'm going to find that I've got a color palette that I can click on. 
and change the colors of those. You'll see over at the side where the text is and let me just make this a little bit smaller so we can we can see that there we go here's where the text is I can change my font size this is my text color right here is the color of my node I'm going to click on this green and I'm going to change it to blue that means I'm also going to change my reasons to use to that same color blue this helps differentiate between my my supporting details and my major and minor notes. Whenever I'm done with this, and mine right here is not complete, but whenever I'm done, I'm going to go up here where it says sharing, publish as a web page. If that's the name I want to call it, that's great. But I'm going to click on rename. It's telling me that it's going to make this a read-only version available to anyone with a URL. Am I sure I want to do this? Yes. I click there. And it gives me my link. I'm just going to copy that. It is done. And I'm going to click OK. Go to my Weebly website. I'm already logged in. Click Edit. And I'm going to go to Pages. I've already added a page called Education 301 Portfolio. Here's how I did that. I clicked Add Page where it says New Page. I changed the name. and then hit edit page. You can see there it is right there. I'm going to take the paragraph with title. If you want to, you can do the picture with title. But for this one, I'm just going to choose that one. And I'm going to call this my concept map. And right here where it says click here to edit. This was a web 2.0 concept map. So I'm going to type that in there. Highlight. Go up to the link where it says website URL. I'm going to paste that in. And I always like if it's going outside of my website like this one is to go to open link in new window and then hit save. And then I'm going to publish this. Now let's test it and see what it looks like. And there we go. There's my concept map online that's viewable, viewable by everybody in our class. Now I'm just going to close this window. And I am done.